Hurricane Milton tore through Florida as a Category 3 storm, unleashing winds over 120 miles per hour. 17 lives were lost and 1.8 million homes and business were left without power. From collapsed buildings to impassable roads, the damage is widespread. Tornadoes in St. Lucie County took six lives while floods swallowed entire neighborhoods. Rivers are expected to stay at dangerous levels for weeks. The storm left behind severe damage in the west central region, including a collapsed crane in Tampa Bay and significant damage to Tropicana Field Stadium. Power restoration has become a monumental task with over 50,000 linemen deployed across the state. However, flooding, debris and damaged infrastructure are slowing progress, leaving millions in the dark. Residents in crowded emergency shelters express their frustration and fear as they just encountered two back-to-back -back storms in a short period. Many have been without power for days and feel overwhelmed by the frequency of recent hurricanes and plan to move from Florida. I've seen the road get flooded, but never like, never like this. And, uh, and this much damage, I mean, this was powerful. When it came and hit the side of the trailers, it sounded like an aircraft carrier. I mean, not a carrier, but a plane coming in. And I mean, it just shook the whole building. Well, it was an experience that only thing I got left in my life. <laughs> if it was gonna go, I was gonna go too. Hazards like downed power lines and submerged roads remain a constant danger for residents. Emergency shelters are stretched to their limits, housing thousands in desperate need. Several military bases, including MacDill Air Force Base, are still closed as damage assessments continue. In affected cities, authorities have issued boil water notices due to compromised water systems. Recovery efforts have begun in some areas, such as Bradenton Beach, where crews are working tirelessly to clear debris. Yet environmental damage, particularly flooding, remains a significant obstacle. As Florida begins to rebuild, the full impact of Hurricane Milton is only starting to be understood. With extensive flooding, power outages and environmental hazards, the road to recovery will be long and arduous.